everyone. This is Hudson Vintage. This is a special Christmas break edition. We are showing today favorite pieces from the Hudson Vintage community. That This is the Facebook page here, and you can have an idea of what's going on. This was a drawing um, that I mentioned on the YouTube channel. And we have all kinds of requests for information. People share their knowledge. And I actually put the post out on YouTube and on Facebook. So any viewers that want to participate for Friday and send in a favorite piece and maybe, you know, have an opportunity to show the audience your shop, if you have an eBay shop or an Etsy shop, um, just give your information with your favorite piece. And it can be for sale. It could just be something that you love or that you inherited. And it's pretty exciting. The only people that wrote back and sent in stuff were people from the Facebook community. It's, it's not that I'm playing favorites. It's just that they're the ones who are able to do it fast since we already kind of have a relationship and communication set up. But um, just email me, HudsonVintage at me.com, if you want me to show something of yours and you're not in the community. And the first, well, I'll just look at this. I just want to show you the page. It's really kind of fun. There's a lot going on. And we really do share and we send each other things. I'm actually wearing, this is from Adrienne. This, she sent this to me. We did a gift exchange this year. And so this was, um, she sent that to me also as kind of an engagement present and birthday present, whatever. So we're very good to each other. It's a, very, it's a really nice, nice group of people. And the first link I want to show you is Robin. And she's in the group and I have up this, I thought this was such a good deal. She is fully vetted um, by me. She is a longtime Haskell collector. I'm actually familiar with her Haskell collection, but she also has an eBay page that she runs with her daughter and she does vintage Pyrex and vintage jewelry. And I just thought that this was so good. I just wanted to show it. Um, it's 75 pieces and there's a lot of good stuff in here. I see Regency, you know, look at this. Let's click, look, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that set. So that's worth checking out. And I will put this link in, all the links will be in the description box below. And here it is right there. Um, if you just want to catch it, it's h.sbar underscore zero. But she has been around and collecting a lot longer than this eBay page has been up. So I want you to know with full confidence that her Haskell is highly vetted and she's very trustworthy and she has quite the Haskell collection. Oh, you know what? Why don't I just go to other items? Here, look at this. Perfect example, just the first thing. Look how gorgeous this is. This is Haskell pink. Everything is correct. She knows when things aren't correct. She's a really reputable seller. So I wanted to share that. And then the next person is Adrienne, and this is her YouTube channel. She is in our group. She's also a YouTuber. She, I just saw on the Facebook page that she found 18 karat gold and diamonds in a jar. And so it must be this one. This one only has uh, 81 views right now, but she's really good. She's a PR person in real life. And on YouTube, she does these jewelry jars and she's really engaging. She's also, and oh, I don't want to click on it because it'll mess up the algorithm for her if I click off. But um, she's also a New Yorker, transplanted to California. So we have a lot in common, and I think she's really pretty. She's fun to watch. So there's that. And then that's her YouTube channel. It's a la mode by Adrian. Put it in the links. And then what she wants to share is kind of a fun story. This is her favorite right now because she found it in a jar, and it turned out to be Longani and it has that single black bead, see that? And it's gorgeous, it's old. So this is Pink Langani, it's a rare find. This is her Etsy store. And her Etsy is, do I dare move this? I guess I will. Yeah, a la mode by Adrian, and that link will be there. She's asking $200, it's definitely worth it. Here it is off the bust, it's huge. It's gorgeous. That's gorgeous. That's Italian, right? Italian beadwork. And next up we have Kim. Okay, Kim is a sassy poet on Instagram. She has kind of a big following. 
Um, I adore this. I love the picture that she sent uh, because it's a book piece, and she showed it on the book. How cool is that? And I have notes here. And she writes, book piece, <laughs> Dini Juliana, 1960s, pressed glass necklace and bracelet set. So I would call that a perore. It says in the book on the page, blue molded glass ovals with floral design and blue aurora borealis stones. I, we also call those Easter egg, I think. Um, there's no condition issues except the safety chain is missing. And she says that for the viewers, she is asking $250, which is crazy good because... It says on the book right here, it says in the book, 350, 400. Like you can actually see, it's right there. And then let me show you the other. Okay, so this is it off the book. This is just what it looks like. Look how beautiful these stones are. Ooh, baby. This is a nice one. This is a nice Dini. This is a bargain. And I don't know why she made it 200, but she did. And then there's this one. That's her picture. That's the back of it. See, there's the classic Juliana d &E 5 link. For those of you, uh, now is the time to subscribe. If you haven't learned this already, you're about to learn that the way to recognize d &E is from the back. It's this five link chain in bracelets that's always indicative of Juliana. And this, you see how this is sort of a, a gobbed kind of smooth, how they're sort of connected by welded that is the mark of d and &E, Juliana. So that's what you're looking for when you want to um, attribute something to Juliana correctly. And next we have, okay, this is Kate. And this is an amazing story. She found this on eBay because she watched the How to Find Things on eBay video. She's relatively new to the group. She's sort of a fan of the YouTube channel and she's learning. She's a young one. We have lots of young women in the group that are also uh, starting their own businesses or just collectors. And she, I think, is a little bit of both. And she found this because she watched the eBay video on how to find things. And she must have found it when, you know, the things that were ending in the last 20 minutes. You should watch that if you haven't already. I will put the link up in whatever corner it is on the screen from my laptop. So check the card and watch that there. That's the side of it. This is Victorian. These are intaglios, hardstone. There are six hardstone taglios, intaglio seals. This is a rotating seal wheel that they use to seal their letters. It's so cool. And it's gilt brass and it's Victorian. And she did not say how much she wants for that, but I know that she got it appraised for $400. Where's my notes? Yeah, it's a Victorian seal wheel, the ex Victorian seal wheel pendant. It's a European maker with six intaglio hardstone seals that rotate in gilt in a gilt brass setting. And her email is in the description box as well as I'll put it on the screen. Also, Kim's email is in the description box. Robin's link on eBay is in the description box. And Adrian's YouTube and Etsy are in the description box. And up, we have Lauren and she has an eBay shop called the Keystone Collector, and this is some of what she sells. She's a real vintage jewelry girl, and she has up for sale, actually, what she wanted to share and show was something that she made. So look at this. Look at this. Is She's got some good things here. I love that. So what she made is over here and it's absolutely gorgeous so look at this this is green amethyst and um, it's basically three in one because it's a removable pendant it's amethyst green amethyst um, it has a sterling silver little pearl fish hook clasp and then this is green aventurine and green quartz and it's reversible so I think this is really nice. And she is, I really love this strand. I think this strand is really useful. And uh, green amethyst is praiseolite. And it's a nice amount of praiseolite. And what is she asking for it? So let's see, she says, um, oh yeah, so the eBay link I will put in the description box. You can also email her about this and it's one of a kind. And um, 
<clears throat> she's asking 125 and her eBay link is in the description yes and you can email her so that's 125 absolutely gorgeous and next up and then finally we have Holly and Holly sent a video so this is very cool this Holly sent this in this is and also she's vetted um, and even though she doesn't have a platform, I can vouch for her because she's in the group and she's been fully vetted by me. And she has had these for about 10 years. They've been in her collection for a long time. I love the aspect of the sneak peek into people's collections. So please, in the comment box, let me know if there is any thing that you would like to specifically see. I just love the sneak peek into their, their, you know, what they have because people have, some people have been collecting for decades and decades. I know that Kim has an incredible collection. It's just absolutely mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. So maybe I'll get to have her as a guest collector in an upcoming video. But in any case, this is a little video that Holly made. And this is a, it's a his and hers. It's okay. So it's art deco. So it's about a hundred years old. They're Masonic rings, his and hers. So one of them is Eastern star and they're in their original Bakelite box. And she also has, that's the Knights of Pythias. That's a double-sided pendant. And it was originally a watch fob. And it's also deco period. And you can email her directly for information. I love that box. Look, it still has the original jewelry store inside the box. So that's it for Holly. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Um, it's been really fun. And Friday coming up, we're going to do it again. And if you're not in the group and you just want to send something in and you'd like me to give a shout out to your store, um, yes, I will do that. You know, show the viewers what you have. It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. See you Friday. Thanks for watching.